That was funny. <laughs> We're just sitting here in the Alpine garage talking about credit cards and drinking beer. Hang out with us for a minute. Welcome to another episode of Alpine Garage. Today we're going to be talking about the Ford Bronco credit card. Now I, we know it's, it's not called the Ford Bronco credit card, it's called the Ford Pass Rewards Visa. But for a long time and even sometimes when I look it looks like there's like the they've got the little Bronco horse on there with the mountains in the background and stuff, and it looks like a Bronco credit card. You can customize them too now. Oh, you can customize them. Yes, you can. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you can get a Bronco. So on you there. can get those two or. Customize. That'd be cool if you could get your Bronco on there. That would be cool. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Ford. Think about that. Owners upload a picture of their vehicle, and it goes onto their plastic card. That would be really cool. I like that. So anyway, we're going to Europe this summer and we were going to get another credit card to try to build points. This card came up. Now, it only came up because when we were searching, we thought back to when we were originally buying the Bronco, they were really pushing this Bronco credit card. But after looking at it, you don't get airline miles or just like money back. Money back. It's all based in Ford stuff. So we want to know if you think this is something that you would do being a Bronco enthusiast. I think we are as Bronco enthusiast as there is. I want to know if what you guys think. So we're going to go through the program just real quickly, talk about it, see what the perks are. And then at that point, you know, we may decide that we want to do it or don't want to do it. So first of all, so you get 5% back in points on four dealership purchases. What exactly does that mean? Does that mean like purchasing a vehicle, accessories, yeah, service. I think that you do get it on all of that. You, you can put a down payment maybe. Maybe you can put a down payment and that down payment was going to be cash anyway. Correct. And so you get those points. So that would be pretty cool. If you bought a lot of cars, then that would be something that would be worth it. And that's 5% back. You don't get a lot of 5% on credit cards anymore. Uh, does it doesn't work with Ford Performance too. Because I would buy stuff from the Ford Performance site probably. But the Ford Accessory site, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to spend the 200 and what do we have, 265,000 points? Something like that. We still don't yeah. know how we're gonna spend it. So looking at the page, it makes it really hard to figure out how to spend it. We'll go into the points conversion next. Well, I still need a rack, so. <laughs> yeah, but they don't make a rack. I know, they need to come up with that. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> so the next one is? 3% on gas, auto insurance, tolls, parking, and dining, which, you know, that's a, a common thing on most credit cards. Yeah, you know? well, it, is it 3% on Three. gas, insurance, tolls, parking, and dining? 3% uh -huh. on what most people use their cards for. Right. So if you think about it, it's fuel. Insurance is obviously very expensive, especially on a brand new Bronco. So you get 3% back on that, which we don't get with any of our cards. Tolls, parking, and dining. So tolls, some of you live in big metropolitan areas where you use tolls. I drive a mile to work every day, so <laughs> I'm, I'm really not too worried about that. Parking, again, I don't pay for parking all that often. Now dining, yeah, we don't go out to eat a lot. We cook at home almost all the time. So really that 3% is, is an awesome program with that because that's if you're gonna be going on a lot of trips, all of those things are things that you're gonna to have to pay for. You get 3% back on that. And then you get 1% back on everything else. Yeah, that's pretty standard. Right. Almost all, almost all credit cards are gonna give you 1% back. So, right. so that's not a big deal. But this is still on points that you're getting back. Right, yeah, we're, we're talking points right. here. So one of the introductory promotions that they have is 11,000 points on your first purchase. Another one is that you get $200 statement credit back if you spend $6,000 in 12 consecutive months. Looking at the script on that, it sounds like you have to spend $6,000 every month for 12 months in order to get $200 back on your statement. So is that $72,000 that you have to spend? Is that is that what that is? That you have to get $200 back on? Or is it $6,000 just in 12 months you spend $6,000 to get $200 back? Would which would be much better. And this card has no annual fee, which is nice. Yeah, uh, there are more and more cards now are requiring a yearly fee on it because they're giving you something back that is worth more than the points are. So it is rare to find a card that's no annual fee that, that still has perks. Now the conversion. So the conversion on the points. So it's easy to do this. Five US dollars 
is a thousand forward pass points. That said, if you find something, for instance, on uh, the Ford accessory website and you say, hey, how much is this? Take that number that they're charging you, the dollar that they're charging you, multiply that by 200, and that gives you the amount of points that you should have in order to pay for that item. So here's an, a good example. So the hitch, we just put a, we just did a hitch video where we put a hitch on the Bronco and, uh, and a wiring harness, and we did the hitch and the wiring harness for about $200. Now that said, Ford wants $360 for their basically same receiver, and they want $115 for the wiring harness, which is fair, I guess. It's a little bit more reasonable from the standpoint of how much we pay for our harness. But total, that's $475. That's not installing it at Ford. So that's just buying it for, with your points on the Ford Accessory website and bringing it to your house. So if you needed to save up points for that, you would need 95,000 points in order to get those two items. All that is is just a conversion. It can be a billion points. It sounds like a lot of points. The conversion is what tells you what it is. So 95,000 points is approximately $475. You can get your hair in your wiring harness. That said, uh, I don't know that this is for us, it might be, but you would need to want to purchase a lot of things from Ford if you're going to be putting a lot of money on this cart. If you had a GT40 and you had you know, a Raptor and you had a Bronco and you had a Mustang and you, you were just a Ford person, then I can honestly see where this might pay off. Let us know down in the comments, is there anything that we left out? What do you think of this cart? Is it something that you would carry? And if there is anybody that does carry it, let us know in the comments yeah. kind of what How's you think. How are the rewards working? Because honestly, it sounds like an interesting deal. And all the way along since before we bought our Bronco, we thought, hey, let's pull the trigger on that. That'd be pretty neat having a Bronco credit card. And that's a wrap from Alpine Garage. If you liked this video, I know it was a little weird and crazy, but this is just us hanging out. Yeah. Hit that like button for us. And then also subscribe to our channel. It's those mountains over there in the corner. <laughs> Click on that. We're going to be doing daily Bronco videos. And then on the end screen, we have all of our past videos, three years worth of videos that you can check out. And you can see us basically grow up on YouTube.